Hey there, so today I'm going to visit four galleries in Bristol, including Martin Parr Foundation and Bristol Art and Museum Galleries. Uh, so that is quite uh, exciting. I will be sharing the different visits. I'm bringing my camera, but I'm not sure I will be shooting a lot. Anyway, that's uh, probably a different video today and let's uh, let's go. Yeah. Okay, so I've arrived in Bristol and it didn't take long, about 55 minutes. <clears throat> I'm now at a car park and I need to check if I need to pay anything and then I start the visit. Um, the NPS opened at 10 and Martin Power Foundation opened at 10.30. So yeah, I'll probably be here for two to three hours. So this area is called Paintworks and there's a lot of I think artistic space or even spaces. So I'm going to the Royal Photographic Society first where I book my ticket. And after that I go to Martin Parr Foundation. Okay, so I've just finished my tour of Martin Parr Foundation. I've seen the exhibition. I had a nice discussion with one of the gallery staff. I left my book and I'm going to drop them an email. They maybe, if my work is good enough, I might have any opportunity later. But anyway, it was a, a good visit. Overall, I stayed almost two hours here. So I'm going to go to another gallery next and probably have a lunch break, I'm starting to get hungry. Okay, I'm on my way to F4 Gallery and that's a 25 minute walk from where I parked so I can discover at the same time. And Bristol looks really nice actually. So I've walked past the uh, Bristol Art Gallery, but my appointment is at 1.30, so I'm going to the A4 Gallery first. Uh, I'm about 10 minutes away now, and yeah, still discovering there's a main street, not much to do really, but uh, still interesting to see a different place. So on my left hand side, that's uh, the University of Bristol. I've seen that they had another building next to the Bristol Art Gallery. They have some really nice uh, 
small hotel, boutique hotel. That's Clifton Arcade, which I just came in. So lots of empty jewelry. So that's F4 photography gallery, which I'm going to visit afterwards. Art painting gallery. And some really interesting stuff here. Okay, so I suspected yeah, the gallery is really small and the type of work they show is more of a landscape but uh, I still left my book to the owner of the gallery and he quite liked it. Uh, if I have anything that can fit in this style of work then I can probably send some to him. Okay, so I'm Bristol Art Gallery and Museum. This is huge. Okay, so I need to find my way around. Okay, I'm now in another part of the exhibition. Uh, previous uh, galleries are not allowed to record or take photos, but this part I can. So I'm going to briefly show you. I finished my tour of the Bristol Museum and Gallery. Yeah, there's really some solid work, but in terms of opportunity, I guess uh, nothing at all. So I kept my book and uh, I will try to send them an email because nobody was there. I'm stuck in the traffic jam on my way back from this Bristol. This is quite usual uh, at, this, at this time of the day. A lot of people are off work and the uh, traffic is just so bad. So yeah, this morning it took me 50 minutes, but now it's taking me a bit more than one hour. I've really enjoyed my day in Bristol and will certainly come back to visit further. If you happen to be nearby, I'd suggest visiting the photo festival, which is up until 31st of October. Thank you for watching and see you soon for a new adventure.